Alright, so this video is about Docker Compose. If you've watched the last video, you've seen that we had the following steps. After we have put a Docker file in the current directory, we built an image with the Docker build command, we tagged the image with step 1, and then we spun up a container and mapped the current volume and set a working path and executed a command. Of course, such a thing is quite hard to remember and typing it out like this is error prone and it's not coded so you couldn't use it on a server. And of course you could put this into a, a shell script to execute this. But Docker has its own tool to hard code or to code out such a config. And this tool is called Docker Compose. It can actually do a bit more than just coding out these arguments, but we'll learn about that later. In this tutorial, we're just gonna cover how we could code out those arguments into a Docker Compose file. So while all of the previous commands like docker build or docker run or docker images were running with the docker command this time we need a new command namely the docker compose command and notice the dash here so it's one command the docker compose but this is actually a new tool which you also need to install and you can see we are on the docs.docker.com slash compose slash install page and here you'll find how to install docker compose for your respective system once you have installed docker compose you should be able to run docker compose minus minus version and have the latest version installed that way you can verify that you have a correct installation so now since the idea of having this docker compose was to make to take those command line arguments and put them into a file so that we don't have to type this out every time and so that it's uploadable to a server for example we need to put them into a file and this file is creatively called docker compose and it's a YML file, a YAML file. Now YAML is a scripting language used by some tools to create some kind of config files. And that's exactly what this Docker Compose YAML is. It's a config file where we can put into our command line arguments and other things. So now let's try to edit this file. And remember our what we want to do is we want to put in uh, volumes and we want to change the working directory and we want to build from this image and we want to execute this command. Then how would you write such a file? So first let's say we want to write something that is more coded out than in the command line because we don't have to type it every times. Uh, so we have we have a bit like some keystrokes to spare because you're only writing this config file once so you're going to be a bit more verbose so it's easier for other developers to read so the volume becomes or let's say you you wouldn't know then you would write like volume and what we had before so this was the pwd and again the pwd and we had the work there. Let's say that you we would expect it to be like this. It's not actually correct a correct file, but like this would be my expectation if I would have never seen this those back ticks. I am not really used to them yet on this keyboard. And then I would expect maybe that I could write the command uh, like this. And what else did I want to do? I wouldn't wanted to specify which image to use or which build to build. Let's say I want to build from the current directory. So this is how I would expect my 
my YAML kind of to look like if I knew not exactly how to write it, but now we are going to learn how to write it in a correct fashion. So the first thing we are going to do in order to fix this is to put a version here. And a version of what? It's a version of the Docker Compose API. So in older versions, not everything was supported and we want to use the latest version to, to see what's also broken with this script. We need to take a step back. I have said Docker Compose has the reason to code out command line arguments. Well, this was a bit of an understatement because actually Docker Compose helps us with services. And what are services? So let's say I have my app one and app two or microservice one and microservice two that are both like Docker containers. So I have containerized applications and now Docker Compose helps me how to set up and combine or compose those container services, those containerized services. So f actually I need to specify specifications for more than one uh, container. So this was be only for one container, but since we want to be able to declare it for m uh, multiple containers or multiple services, um, we're gonna make a hello service here. And so all of our specifications are going into this hello service. For us now, this doesn't make much sense because we only have one service so far, but later this is becoming more important. If you want to deploy like multiple microservices, then you have your hello service and your do some other stuff service and every service has its own specification. So that's how we fix this part. Now, if we were to run our Docker compose now, with the docker compose up command, which is kind of how you execute the docker compose, then we would still get an error. And this is because in our docker compose, we used this, but that's not actually valid docker compose syntax. And this also demonstrates to you that the docker compose isn't equivalent to the shell. It's actually a bit different than w when you run a container just with the docker run command. So what we can do to fix it is put relative path here. What wouldn't work with, uh, with the shell works for Docker Compose. It understands a relative path here, in, at least in the input and on the output. So now we are mapping the, the current path to the app path in our Docker container. And this didn't make any sense to begin with. So let's map this also to app so now we have mapped the current directory to app and set our work there to app okay let's check if it works okay it doesn't work we still have problems and it says it has an unsupported um, config option namely the volume and it even gives me a suggestion did you mean volumes that's one thing that's quite cool about Docker Compose. The error messages, they're really, really telling. So let's try to switch this to volumes and let's run it again. Okay, still not running. New error, work there. Did you mean working there? Yes, probably. Okay, let's put working there here. Let's try to run it again. Still not working, okay. Uh, now we have volumes, n contains an invalid type. It should be an array. Okay, let's fix that. So in YAML, you can write arrays like this, uh, just with a minus and then there go all the arguments. So if I had a second thing I would want to map, I could map, map it like this. And 
but we all only have one here. Okay, now let's try again. And it works, it actually prints our hello world. So we have successfully written our first Docker Compose. Okay, that was it. Thanks for watching. See you another time and don't forget to subscribe.